Well, Gav, uh, running the marathon, so why? Why are you running the marathon? Because um, I enjoy marathons, to be honest. Uh, London will be my fifth. Um, my fourth, actually, is next weekend. I'll be running in Paris next weekend. Um, and I just enjoy it, really. That's the, the main reason, really. How did, you, how did you get into it? I mean, obviously, some people run one marathon and that's um, done for a lifetime. Why are you carrying on? Um, well, I, my first one was the London Marathon in 2015, and it was just going to be a one-off. But um, that feeling of elation at the end and and the psychological battle of getting through it, I um, just wanted more of that, really. So I'm kind of addicted now. Addicted to marathons? Yeah, strangely. <laughs> uh, and in terms of the charity that you're running for, who is it and, and why have you chosen them? Yeah, I'm um, uh, fundraising for the Salvation Army in the UK. Um, I go to the Salvation Army um, and um, it's actually being split between two different areas. Um, the first is the Salvation Army in Cambridge, um, which is the uh, Salvation Army that I go to. Um, and they're, they're embarking on a building project. Um, to update the facilities to um, better help the need in, in the local community really so um, currently they kind of work with the homeless and the lonely and the older people and kind of updating the facilities will give us a wider scope to support our people in the community really um, and the other one is the candidates unit which is the um, unit that um, trains Salvation Omar officers which are basically like ministers or, or vicars if you like and part of the remit once you're trained is is to kind of go out and kind of meet those needs in the local community whether that's as part of a church community or whether that's part of kind of working in the Salvation Army hostel um, it's all about kind of me- meeting the need of people really. Why is that charity so close to home for you? Because um, I've always gone to the Salvation Army, um, well, pretty much for most of my life, and I've seen firsthand actually the difference um, that it can make in people's lives. Um, and I've been involved in, uh, in in some of the projects, and I've just seen kind of on the front line kind of what difference it makes. Well, Aidan, running the London Marathon, so why? Why are you running the London Marathon? Um, I decided to raise funds for Dementia Evolution. Um, my granddad, Ron, played football here for Peterborough, and he suffered with the disease for the last nine years of his life. And, and obviously the marathon's a big step. I mean, have you, what sort of things have you done in, in the lead up to this? Um, so I did a half marathon a couple of weeks ago as part of my training, but before before I started my training for this, nothing nothing at all. I didn't, didn't do any running. How's it gone? I mean, the training, obviously, it's all about mentally getting out of bed, I guess, and, and, and doing the work. Yeah, it's, it's difficult, it's tough um, and very time consuming, but I'm sure come the 28th of April, it'll be really enjoyable. And I guess that the fact you're doing it for some a cause that means so much to you personally is helping you drive on. Yeah, definitely. You know, when I go out for a tough run, I think of, you know, I think of my granddad and why, why I'm doing this and it helps me, helps me push through. And what's your target time? Uh, just to com- just, just, just complete it <laughs> yeah just to complete it I'm gonna yeah it's, it's gonna be tough as I said I've never done a marathon before and yeah I think just completing it will be will be good in my books well first and foremost then the, the, the marathon why why are you running the London Marathon I think it's one once an opportunity for many people to be able to run the London Marathon and say you've done it as an achievement in itself to get into it but then to run it is another thing itself to make it all the way 26.2 miles is one thing to be honest and, and is it something you've always had on the bucket list is it something that you just been training for and thought I could do this of course it's something that was on top of my bucket list when I turned 18 it was like right this is going to be my year to do it one year later I'm running the marathon so yeah and in terms of the charity that you're running for, who's, who's that and why is that so important to you? Uh, so running for the NSPCC, the Posh Officials um, Club charity. charity for the year. So it's something special, the club is something special to me. So I thought I'd raise some money for children that are in need of it, to be honest. And in terms of your training, how's it going? Because those that have run marathons before, I get kind of get used to that training. But if you do it for the first time, how tough has it been? Uh, it's been very tough for myself. I've come through injuries. I've popped my knee out and done bits and pieces everywhere. So I've been trudging through it and got there eventually on 20 miles this weekend. So, and, and I guess when you when you complete it, touch wood, hopefully you complete it, of course. Yeah. But once you complete it, I, I'm guessing that's probably one of the proudest achievements that you have because, as you say, coming from nothing to to running 26 odd miles is a, is a tremendous achievement. Of course, like. You wouldn't think of it, local Peter lad running marathon 26.2 miles one day and completed it really. Okay Kelly, you're running the um, London Marathon, so why have you decided to run it this year? Yeah, so I'm running the London Marathon for Fort Paul Hospice this year. Um, I chose to run for Fort Paul after a family friend had to unfortunately use the facilities. Um, so I got to see firsthand just how important the hospice is to not just patients um, in life limiting conditions, but also for supporting their families in a very difficult time. Yeah, and the marathon's a big big thing to take on, so what made it so, what's so special about the marathon that made it a perfect fit for you? 
I've always wanted to run a marathon and I thought well if I'm going to do it I might as well go out and do London so yeah I got really lucky to get a charity place so I'm very excited. And in terms of the, the training how's it gone has it been, has it been tough has it been as you expected it to be? Uh, it's been very tough I'm not going to lie it's completely taken over my life for the past 16 weeks but I've now got to the 23 mile mark so I'm really happy my training's complete so now I just get to enjoy the eating and the chilling. <laughs> and, and I guess it's going to be nice that you're going to have fellow Peterborough United fans running the marathon as well it makes it kind of a community. Yeah it's brilliant just running in general is a very social sport I've learned um, and having five of us all running it is going to be really good we can all help each other through it. Uh, Jake London Marathon why are you running the London Marathon? Um, it's just always something I wanted to do really it's kind of been on a bucket list it's one of them where I just wanted to enter the ballot see if I got lucky or unlucky in some people's cases um, entered the ballot really wasn't expecting to get it and got the email saying I've been accepted so and once you've been accepted I guess it's about choosing that charity or, or um, making the, the charity raise, raising money for that charity of course and, and why have you chosen that particular one for you I mean I've always struggled with asthma through my life so when I was younger more so than now um, always struggled with it always kind of had the kind of the care and um, medication and kind of been kind of part of the developments of what UCASMA have done so UCASMA just seems to be the one that I would go for and luckily I've been able to raise a bit of money for it so far. And, and some people pick charities because of what's happened to their families etc etc but when it's personal to you I guess it drives you a little bit more. Yeah definitely I mean it's like you said it's it's something that I've always kind of struggled with and luckily kind of in the past few years it's haven't struggled as much with it but it's something that's always kind of been part of my life so it's something that I've always wanted to try and raise some money for and I think this is the perfect way of doing it. And you've had eventful training so far has it been tougher than you expected? Uh, it has I mean it, I'd I'd never really done any kind of long distance running until I got the, the email saying I've been accepted. Um, running Training was going okay up until a couple of weeks ago and had a, a bit of a tumble uh, while out training, cracked a rib or two, but um, it's been okay and hopefully kind of three weeks now to really push on and, and get kind of ready and marathon ready. And what do you think the actual experience will be like when, when, the, when the starter gun goes off, when, you, when you, you start in the running? I guess you have to go into a, a place that just gets you through it. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's what it's been with the training as well. When I've known I've had to do longer runs, it's just been around kind of getting into a zone, not really thinking about what's around you and just kind of knowing what, what you've got to do and get to that end goal, really.